Now getting our first look at this afternoon at some of the 33 animals that were seized from a home in Beachview. Those animals came from the same home where an alligator escaped last week. Amy Wattis reports on what the future looks like for those animals. 32 of the animals rescued from that Beachview home are here at Humane Animal Rescue, including this alligator. Now, this is the most exotic animals that folks here at the rescue have seen at once. And the next step is to get them to the proper living arrangements. This guy here, which is a water dragon. Three Chinese water dragons are among the dozens of animals being housed at Humane Animal Rescue. Dan Rossi showed us all of the animals. Three young alligators, iguanas, pregnant rabbits, guinea pigs, even this massive here. We couldn't see her when we were at the shelter. She was hiding under newspaper in this crate. This was extreme today. You know, having this many exotics show up is, is something that really throws us off in our policies or procedures, what we're doing here. Animal control seized 33 animals Tuesday from Mark McGowan's Beachview home. All the animals we have weren't properly cared for or in the right living environment that they needed. McGowan gained attention when his five foot gator chomp escaped last week. I'm depressed. I'm really upset. Um, it's like they came in and took my kids for no reason. McGowan showed us the animals he does have left some tarantulas, toads, and poisonous dart frogs. I'm going to get my animal back. That's what I'm going to do next. But Pittsburgh police say he won't be able to since he voluntarily surrendered them. Chomp was here four days. He never called. He never came down to get him. Rossi says he's used to seeing hoarding cases involving dogs and cats. But now that the shelter is part of this case, the goal is to get the animals back in good health and in new homes. Each specific case will determine if we can rehome them or if they need to go to a sanctuary or a rescue group that's out there. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.